Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading for February. How are you guys feeling? We just had the eclipse passing by. I mean, we're still all full in that energy. Uh, things are still going to play out these coming weeks. Um, so I, while I was like meditating on you guys' energy before I started, I had the feeling that this year is about giving birth almost to that to like something new and something beyond yourself i'm hearing and the thing is is that it could be a little bird of a child yes you might be pregnant or get pregnant this year but um i just feel like there's something new big coming to you this month and it's starting this month probably um feeling more connected to it really feel like okay i'm about to just jump in and let's go and do this you know you guys are responding to these changes so naturally and i really feel like this is like this rekindling of a um of this inner flame that's happening for you guys so that's what i'm feeling i'm feeling quite, quite grounded maybe that's the energy is gonna come up maybe you guys are all over the place at this moment of watching this reading and like what do you mean grounded <laughs> but overall i really do feel like you guys are are really starting to finally find uh, your way again in this uh, after these shifts that have happened you know because it was intense energy everything was you know it's about change and involvement and growth and rebirth and change and, and, and newness and that's all good as long as you guys feel like okay i know where i'm going and then this road uh, i trust this road to walk on on this road and i'm gonna go and walk now and i really feel like the walking is starting this month for some reason i just get that with you guys like something is coming and you just feel like it's almost like coming home it's like i've been searching and this is it and it could be a, a person because i'm reading for so many tourists right but i do feel it has a lot to do with career-based energies as well which is something creative and like I said, something beyond yourself. If you give birth to a child, it's giving birth to something beyond self. It's you're you're giving birth to a new soul, you know. So, um, but I don't want to, you know, um, pin that down to that too much because some of you guys um, may not be dealing with that. So let's keep it general as possible. I do. So to feel you guys are in that quiet moment. So before um, you actually go out and talk to the people you feel you have to talk to or um, go and start and, and, and present that new website or, or do those things, you, you're sort of like in the waiting energy still. Like um, It's not like I am procrastinating. I don't feel it like that. I feel like, okay, I'm about to be there and then I'm going to go in and step in almost so right now it's like still like that preparing energy that's really good you should feel comfortable with your own timing as long as you know that it's not procrastinating or not paralyzing yourself out of fear for what could have should have been of you know <laughs> as long as you know it's like no it's good it feels good to my soul to do it at a certain timing or to wait a little bit then go with that towards you guys like like they say that you're responding so naturally to change at the moment so go with that i feel like a a singled energy it's almost like um, everybody is sort of like in, engaging into the aquarius energy because we are in aquarius season as we speak and you guys are just really on your own game you know you're just on your own thing little island i feel so that's what i'm getting well you know when i'm focusing on you guys energy it's a very nice feeling i like to you know spend 30 minutes on that island of yours <laughs> and there's nothing more beautiful than sea tours uh souls built because you guys can build okay it's like you built something you you building some you building something stable okay that's your first two cards it's the ace of sorry it's the page of wands and then we have the five of pentacles that's really good i mean five of pentacles in general um let me see let's see what else is coming out with those cards let's see what they have to say see 
giving birth to something beyond yourself. Beautiful, Taurus. Let me see. Going through a transformation, a transition period of um, a film, and that I felt that last year, where I was like, I remember some of you guys is reading of like really that making that change of like I'm quitting this job or I'm leaving this relationship and I'm going on for myself and starting my own business and really. Focus on that. I felt that change last year already. And I do feel that some of you guys were just stepping in and taking the leap of faith. And that's really good. But then I feel that for some reason it just didn't really work out yet. Yet. The way you've hoped it would work out. And there's some energy of disappointment and maybe feeling left out in the cold. Maybe you expected more support from the people around you which took a long time but what it is now is that you're evolving from hey i have this idea hey i have this 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 urge you know hey i have this passion i'm gonna go and do something with that and then feel like you know uh it's it's maybe um harder than it seemed or you know you felt um uncomfortable more like that sort of uncomfortable with the changes because not instantly um it wasn't growing instantly and you knew that but still it can bring out feelings because you're like okay i gave up this ability for this but i don't really see what it's for and the thing is you're evolving from this page right page of one an idea and stuff and then evolving into the night and the night of pentacles and that's the thing that's the moment where you know you're moving you're moving steady, you're having some, you know, end goal and things where you want to go move towards, but you decide to do it in your own natural way, which is in the tourist way is it might not be head on straight up. I don't care about the risk and I'm taking it all and I'm diving deep in. Um, it may not be that, but it's most definitely something stable and something worth working towards. It's that building the way the tour is built. It's that things that can last you for years when it comes to uh, approaching a relationship or something like that. I do really feel that you're taking a, peri a period of rest because I feel, and that's what I said with that calmness and that you are on your own island. I feel that you guys are coming into peace of mind when it comes to the pay, the pace of things. So how fast or how slow things moving, it's not important. What is important is that you stay true to yourself. You stay true to your ideas. You stay true and have your end goal in mind. And it doesn't matter how long it takes for you to get there. You know, and some things, uh, moments, things pick up really quickly. You know, go, things go quick quick and fast and that's totally fine. And then you have um, a pace where it goes slower again a little bit. That's the universe as well, right? And that's you being completely at peace with that. It's like, okay, if, if it's not here yet, fine. I know that I'm working on it. I'm motivated. I am steady. I'm committed. And I'll just keep evolving and I'll just keep taking this role because look at that. Taurus, such a beautiful energy. The Empress. The Empress is here and the Empress it represents you guys because you guys are an earth sign. And I feel it can be masculine and feminine energy, of course. But um, with this, it's really embracing your feminine side, your feminine energy and letting her lead you in the sense of having that self-love and self-care nailed down. You know, like, I got it. I understand it now. And it I also understand of taking a break is important. Building, yes, and being motivated and getting on that horse and movement is important. But as well as my peace of mind, rest. I want to feel comfortable in these changes. I want to feel comfortable in this relationship. So I'm not going to jump right in. I will test the water first. 
that I will give you an opportunity, but I won't dive in, you know, in the deep end with you instantly just because you're out here in front of my door with it with the, these roses and these promises you know it's like i am i'm open for it that's what i'm hearing it's like when it comes to sort of like dating or relationship when it comes um, to rebuilding something if, if we're speaking about love because it could be anything it's like i'm approachable i'm open for it um but i'm not just gonna give up my entire life just to be with you you know i'm not gonna move across the city after meeting you six weeks ago i'm 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 like or across the country, right? Or city, whatever. <laughs> After meeting you like six weeks ago, I need some more time with that. And and I want you to be patient enough with me in that. And I do see that because the offer is coming in slow and steady. But you also know your worth. So you don't mind the waiting. Because you know you're going to get what you got coming. Because you stay true to yourself. You have enough self-love and self-respect to wait for the person who can match your energy. Or the person that is coming back that has to had to stay away for a certain while so until they grew and evolved enough to match your energy. But you're not giving in and I love it. You're not giving any essentials of you away in the sense of I'll sac self-sacrifice for this relationship. Uh, even though it makes me feel I left out in the cold and misunderstood and all the, and not appreciated, not seen, I still have this relationship. No, that's not mm -mm. That's not the way, Taurus. This is the way, and you know this. It's like, I know, I know my worth. I know what I want, and I'm really glad that I stood up for that. That's what I'm hearing. Or you are about to do that. I'm growing into that. Empress, I love the Empress. And this is again giving birth, could be most definitely, um, you know, uh, childbirth or pregnancy. But like I said, it's very general. So. What is going on beneath the surface? I'm gonna see. Nine of Swords, why is Nine of Swords here for tourists? Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, the Six of Wands. And then we have the amazing death card when it comes to transformation. And wow. Oh my. Oh Lord. Taurus. What's what's going on? What is going on? Aquarius. Okay. I'm going to get this card for you guys. Six of swords. Okay. Now, what's happening is a change, okay? And I, I see this energy of somebody handing you a opportunity to for an interesting commitment. You know, it's deep. It's connected. It is. Um, I mean it. It's. Um, let's move in together. Let's make babies together you know let's try and start our own family let's just commit and maybe it's moving in i do see that for some of my tourists don't get triggered if it's not your situation but but for some of you it's true they are asking you to move in with them because they're seeing your word they they appreciate your patience you know and i really do feel like it's like a higher sort of level of commitment so if you're dating i do see that this 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 situation is most definitely going somewhere, okay? Even though it's slow, even though it's, you know, in your pace and or in their pace, it is still a, a solid energy that is surrounding you. But this could most definitely be... It's like sort of still a little bit um, back and forth, you know? It's like something is on your mind. Like something is really just keeping you into the overthinking mode. And that's maybe sort of your advice of like, when you feel this, be very aware of that, you know, and just go back into the Empress energy of I am whole within myself. I got good things coming for me. I just got to be patient. I'm patient. Things are coming in divine timing. I'm not going to rush into anything because I, I don't know what's coming in the future and it's getting me really 
you know, like, I don't know, maybe I'll be single forever or something like that, you know, it's something like that, it's don't settle for less, just keep the fade and know your worth, it's what they're saying, so don't let, it really is fear-based thoughts, um, and yeah, it's thought processes, it's not out here in your reality, it's just, because in your reality everything looks great, you know, um, what the thing that are coming towards you, but it is really about leaving that overthinking energy alone and uh, not judging it, you know, for yourself, like not judging yourself when you do feel this, it's also okay, just don't go too much in it, just make sure you nurture yourself, it's like, okay, if you can release some energy, some stress by going to the gym, then go to the gym for that hour, you know, and just release some stress. It's really in acknowledging when you are capable of going into this and, and going to bad with this energy. And, um, you know, having like, I don't know where it's going to go. And just and acknowledge it for yourself. Okay? Because what's coming towards you is like, it's all good. It's all good. Okay? It is, it's change. Yes. And it can get a little messy here and there because that card, it's, 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 um, necessary change. So sometimes if you're holding on too tightly, it can get a little messy, but it's nothing to be afraid of because you move it into calmer waters after that. Mm. I'm sorry. I was <clears throat> I'm just still drinking a lot of tea at the moment. Also from a throat chakra. Um, so yeah, what I do see is that when it comes to work, you're getting that acknowledgement. It's like people see you, people, um, you know, spot you, or you get a lot more views, or you get a lot more recognition and appreciation for the person you are, of the things that you do and put out there beyond yourself into the world. So... It all looks really good, Taurus. Like you're going through that transformation. And yes, there is some energy around you. But then, like I said, just acknowledge it, embrace it, and see how you can comfort yourself through it. Not be too hard on yourself that to, for the fact that you feel it. Because sometimes feelings and emotions just come. And sometimes you're just purging some energy. So if you find yourself crying, it's okay. But then don't try to make sense out of why you're crying. It's just... I'm crying because I'm releasing some some energy and some emotions and feelings that I've felt in the past few months or that I've felt in the past in general. You know, sometimes we, we're going through that release energy and it will instantly result into uh, li much more lighter energy. You know, sometimes the crying or everything can just release and, and really feel make you feel a lot better. You know, we know which one, the releasing and the... Um, cry is right and then the other one that's just fear energy and it's just building up and you don't know where to go with that anxiety and then you just start crying because you don't know where to go with all those emotions and thoughts that's a different type of energy <laughs> okay but for some of you you really are getting that um deeper level of commitment what you've been waiting on it's something you already know is coming, but it just hasn't arrived yet. And then it's arriving. But not if you are, you kind of know already within your soul that it's probably not, not for you. Then then that it, it's more definitely something else because you're getting a surprise. And it's also payout from the universe because you're doing this so naturally. Like you're just finding peace of mind in the patient and instantly the it picks up the speed it's like okay well then we're gonna go because you know Taurus is, is fine it's sticking with their own self-worth and um the way you take care of yourself this month would instantly you know show you a lot of improvement also with work I do see a travel opportunity when it comes to work yeah could be people overseas that are acknowledging you like for example you know uh i had i got views from you guys from all over the place like you guys are from everywhere <laughs> which i love you know but that's when it could for example uh, be connected to something like that maybe it's online or anything but i do see some traveling for you guys so maybe it's a person that comes and travel f towards you to have this conversation with you or you're going to see them to talk about this opportunity to maybe um, 
you know, deepen your connection or um, talk about that stable commitment. I do see something stable here. Could be another earth sign. Mm. Scorpio, Virgo energy I'm getting. But don't pin it on too much to the signs. Could also be a very earthly fire sign, you know, with a lot of earth in their chart. So, yeah. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Let me see if I can get one more card out. Taurus, anything else you guys want to lay out on the table for us? There we go, Ten of Swords. And that's that completion. You see, the Nine of Swords, and then we're coming out of it. And it's the end of things. And together with the Death card, it is a definite ending to a cycle, Taurus. And what's coming and growing out of that is, is really beautiful. Because you're getting a lot of recognition, okay? Definitely. Good. Okay. Let me see. Because we're going to do a small pick a card reading. Um, going to get three cards out for you guys. From the Goddess Guidance deck I'm going to use. Yes, and um, if you've never seen one before, I'm sorry, I have to put this one back because it's all flipped upside. I'm gonna put three, three cards. Can speak. <laughs> gonna, I'm going to put three cards out on the table. Uh, take your time. You can pause the reading if you want to to focus on your question of just be open with your energy to receive the message. Um, follow your intuition. If you want to pick one card, pick one. Some people pick all three or two. Just really go with your with your intuition um, when it comes to this message, okay? It's all for Taurus energy. So you can't pick wrong. Let's go with it. Two more cards for Taurus, please. No flippers. Two more cards for Taurus, please. Two more cards for Taurus for February. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus. Okay, these two. Alright, then we go with this. Well, it's this is really one of your cards. I'm gonna read to all of you this one because it came out in the brief shuffle. It was here the bottom of the deck and now it's the bottom of the deck again. So I'm gonna go with it. Expect a miracle, okay? Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. And that's that beautiful uh, Ace of Pentacles as well. Expect a miracle. This could be a miracle baby even because your baby's all over your reading. But like I said, it's a general read. So I don't want to give people like, um, you know, hopes up or something. Just if you feel that's connected to you, it's connected to you, okay? But for all of my tours, expect a miracle. Okay, Taurus, let's get started. Card number one. <laughs> Compassion. Release judgment about yourself and others and focus on the love and light within that is within everyone. So see everything from the almost from the four of swords energy, you know, from a healed place. From no triggers. In any bad situation, try and find the positive side within that person and within self. So release all judgment. Don't give your energy to too much shows and having opinions about those people. Just focus on what brings you, brings in that peace and makes you feel whole. I'm hearing so compassion. Show compassion to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't. Uh, and show compassion to others around you. Because that's, that's really beautiful. And that energy attracts so much beauty. And so much peace as well. So that's your message. Card number two. Divine passion. What a card. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? That's your message divine passion so what is your heart's true desire go meditate on that question feel you know go within card number three be strong be strong you are stronger than you think you are 
and your strength assures a happy outcome. Yes, that's that Empress energy we had laying here. It's like, I know my word, I know my value, I know where I want to go, I know what I'm capable of, and I'm not settling for less. Nothing against you. I'm just not settling for less. I know what I want, and I know what I deserve. So be strong. And your strength, you know, it assures a happy outcome. So be strong. Beautiful, beautiful messages, Doris. So I hope you appreciate it. Uh, sorry, appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you felt connected to it. Because <laughs> I wanted to say I really appreciate it. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Um, thank you, Doris, by the way, for the love and support I received from you guys. And uh, like, share, subscribe, and just everything. I, I really, really appreciate it. So um yeah good luck in this aquarius season i think it has some beautiful surprises uh for you i think i most definitely think that so um just stay focused on yourself and be kind to yourself know what you're worth and i'll see you guys back in march bye Taurus. i love you guys bye